All right, go ahead. Here we go. The fade. The fade is more like a wave than a fade. I love it. I love it. It's tremendous. Well done. Oh, wow, that is perfect. Wow. See? Oh, that was good. Yeah, See that? That's the use. Pat, yeah. Are you taking notes, Pat? Learn. Yeah, yeah. Learn. Living and learning. Every minute. So next time, if Chris isn't here, maybe yeah. you'll be able to pick up the slack. Yeah, okay. All right. Pat, uh, Pat Dalpiaz is manning the Facebook live feed. Um, so if anybody has any questions, they could just type them in and, and well, Pat will Jim relay Jim has them. a question. It says, I, I have a sister-in-law. Oh, oh. Paula Ryan O'Brien. Oh. Paula Ryan O'Brien, super fan from upstate New York. Pat Dalpiaz's sister, Jimmy Dalpiaz's sister-in-law, <laughs> is with us. Good morning, Gloucester. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Gloucester. Chris is with us. Good morning, Joe. Happy birthday. Good to see you. Again. And Tom. And what, and how many weeks till his real birthday? About three weeks, Today. right? No. About three weeks. When is it yesterday? Birthday? It was yesterday. Four weeks from today. Why did I buy you a drink at the studio? <laughs> is your actual birthday on a Sunday? October 29th. No, is October 29th. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have, to, we have to have your surprise party on the 27th. Presents. <laughs> a lot of presents. A lot of presents. And we got Tom McCants. <laughs> Tom McCants. The new super listener. He's a very oh, podcast version. Podcast version. Podcast have version. you ever been on a, a different podcast? No. No. So this is your first. This is my first. You look afraid. Oh, we'll have I'm, to I'm afraid. Afraid. <laughs> I know I'm sitting next to. You. So Tom and Ball. Paula have something in common. They're both uh, longtime Gloucester visitors. Oh yeah. So yeah. we're going to talk to them about their what, perceptions. Their perceptions over the years. Yeah, nice. uh, what ha, ha, has Gloucester changed uh, for the you know what what they've seen? So why don't we stop? Why don't we hop right in with that? Yeah, I would say uh, years ago when we came here. Our friends told us when we first came here, she goes, you don't go there to eat. <laughs> really? There was, really? There was, they said the food's not really any good. And now we came back this year, like a decade later or more. Blown was, away. Some, I, I, I have to agree now. with that. Yes. that phenomenal restaurant. Nobody's <laughs> talking to you. What was it? <laughs> I, I have to agree with that, that, that years ago when I used to come, it, I didn't think about the food. Now when I come, yeah. it's yeah. like, and obviously, I enjoy food, but it's incredible. Oh, well, and there is, you so can't even get bad food, food yeah. really. For every, you have to work yeah. hard to yeah. find yeah. any bad food. Yeah, it there. used to be like real mediocre. You're yeah. like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. we'll go to this place. You're like, well, mm-hmm. okay. And you're like, it's a fish town. Yeah. It's like, right. where's the fish? Where's the fish? Well, <laughs> where's the beef? Graham beef? is yeah. saying that her parents took them to Gloucester when they were kids. I still love going there. Hope it never changes. Love the flowers at the bridge. Great job. There you go. Let's oh, yeah. shout out Thank to uh, Generous Gardeners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Gardeners is a, yeah. Stupid. Yeah, they, uh, the flowers. They've kept it up over the years. I mean, even my, even my dogs thing. know how nice those flowers are because they won't even go into the flower beds to pee or poop. <laughs> Good. Well, there's yeah. signs, and, and there's signs all over that say, right. don't put the dogs in the flower garden. No, I see that. So, do you understand the dog that we're dealing with, the I official do. mascot that poops I do. everywhere? I don't know yeah. why yeah. I'm thinking. The dog that poops <laughs> everywhere won't even go into the flower beds to poop because he, too, sees the beauty of the, flower. of the flowers and the hard work that those gracious gardeners. I saw one of the women gardeners. work <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hard yeah. there <laughs> the other day and I thanked her. I said that it's so I beautiful hope, when I you hope go it was, an, was it Antoinetta? She, she didn't say what her name yeah. was. She was just working hard and I Antoinetta, thanked her. Antoinetta is there every day. That's every awesome. single day. But, nice. but I, I know your listeners are wondering how I know Tom. Mm-hmm. So I think the record's got to show that I met Tom 29 years ago in the mm-hmm. grill or in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. Um, he was on his honeymoon, and my wife and I were on our honeymoon. Oh, that's so sweet. And oh that's kind of cool. That and had a we were booked up. at um, one, I, I won't mention the name because... In deference to Kate, because yeah, you don't yeah. want Kate to get upset. Mention one of, one of her competitors. One of the resorts. It was oversold for the first night. Um that, that we were supposed to be checking in. Oh, so you <laughs> so yeah, Paula, you mean, So there was one, there was a room with one queen bed, 
and the rest is history. Oh, you know? So we all got. Party. Doesn't we, Connor look like me? <laughs> <laughs> we all got uh, stuck at uh, another one of their facilities right at the airport, yeah. and McLeod. No, McCants, uh, McCants McCarthy, McCarthy and McBride. And McBride. Those were the three <laughs> newlyweds that all got stuck stay, at this. You're staying off the bus. It's like, you're going to stay here tonight. Yeah. Right. So they drop us off, and then everybody else is like waving. It was also their honeymoon. You're like, okay, to, we'll to the stay here. Wow. And, um, but you made the most of it. Yeah. It, yeah. But obviously the McBrides are not here because they didn't make the cut. No, they didn't make the cut. <laughs> But we uh, we stayed in touch. We've we've traveled multiple times since then, oh, that's um, such an awesome and they haven't time. been back to Gloucester in a number of years. Yeah, and about four years. Right? Four years, and yeah. you know they heard that we moved here, and um, they came and stayed with us for the weekend. So what, what did you? So what did you guys do? Oh, you you were boating yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, you so boat. so by boat. You were you were sprinkling money all over town. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. We were. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, you used multiple docks. Yeah. To to to, yeah. to, 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 to transverse the harbor by boat. Yeah. And and spread wealth. Exactly. That was your move. That was my uh, move. So you, you you dropped money. Oh, also, you have to tell your story about your new boat. But go ahead. Tell me about your weekend on, yeah. on the water. Weekend on yeah. the water. So it was uh, we left late afternoon because of the tides, uh, because of the tides. Yeah. And uh, like I took him for a trip up and down the Anisquam River. Uh, you know, pretty windy current was was vicious. Uh, we went into the harbor. Our first stop was at the public dock, and we got off and had a nice beverage at Captain Carlos. Um, got back. Well, I think some people had more than one beverage. That'd be me. Um, <laughs> so then we hopped back on the boat and uh, headed over to the studio. For some beverages and uh, sushi, some half sushi. off half off sushi that was outstanding, Delicious. as uh, as always. Oh, that sushi is so good. Yeah, the and then we hop back on the boat. And, Wait, before uh, we hop back in the boat, Chris decided he has to clean the boat with a bucket of water and a freaking scrub brush. Because so he's out there and it's getting dark and he's he's pouring water on. The ladies are trying to get settled. He's pouring water on scrubbing bird poop. Because the seagulls the destroyed me. <laughs> that, I mean, I had life. more seagull poop on my boat than you know what? Because like feed now the church people, steeples. People feed the seagulls. Yeah, yeah. they do. Yeah. Well, I thought you thought that their poops looked a little different. <laughs> um, so after I cleaned the boat successfully, we. <laughs> We uh, we headed over to uh, the public dock um, behind Minglewood and uh, just stayed there for no more than thirty minutes, yeah. like the sign said. But we went over to Machaca. <laughs> we said we went over to Machaca. <laughs> we went over to Machaca and uh, listened to a great band. Um, what the hell was the name? I can't believe I forget, but they're they're well known. It's a classic rock band. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're great stuff. Uh, these the guys ate. These guys ate. I, I don't <laughs> eat anymore. Yeah. But uh, we had some great food at uh, at Machaca. Saw it's Eric. Delicious. Saw really Luis. Um, Tom was drinking skinny margaritas See? with with his pinky <laughs> with his pinky sticking out like Wait, oh. What? I don't know what a skinny margarita is. It's fewer calories. Fewer calories. Oh. It's like I was inspired by Chris. And it's twenty two pounds of weight. Twenty two pounds. Twenty two pounds, folks. <laughs> so Chris is on a psycho diet. <laughs> yeah, it's not a psycho diet. It's a very, it's a, it's, it's a very it's disciplined, a proven, disciplined, it's a, it's, proven. It's a, it's a, it's absolutely. He has lost the weight. He looks fantastic. It's you have to be. Dis- you have to be disciplined. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's, speaking of that, not to interrupt, but we were at the studio, and. These guys were like, Chris, you ready to order? And I look at my watch, and I had just had a snack like an hour and a half prior. And they say every two, two and a half, three hours is when you should eat. So I said, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ordering yet. I, I need another half hour. My <laughs> wife's passing out from starvation. <laughs> he, he, can't, he can't order yet. Yeah. So that, that's how far I've gone. Where but, he, but, he, but his move is, so this morning he brought... <laughs> Yes, Two coffee yeah. rolls that are from Mom's Kitchen that are all butter and sugar <laughs> and flour. And one coffee roll feeds a family. Well, feeds a family, but right. he 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 
tells everybody what to get at all the different places, which are completely <laughs> not on his diet. You don't, get to then, <laughs> you don't get to choose the menu. Chris is going to tell you what you're going to get. He, so he smells can, his he way to satisfaction. You. I brought Tom and his wife to Vigilio's yesterday. <laughs> they walk in and they're like, oh my God, this is heaven in here. Right, and they're looking at the menu, debating what they're going to get. No, 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 no. You guys are getting a St. Joseph sandwich <laughs> on a roll. What? No, that's what you're getting. You can pick your, pick your own condiments, but that's what you're getting. So they both get the St. Joseph sandwich. Uh, prior to that, the night before, we went to the Franklin for dinner, and they're looking at the menu. I'm like, no, no, no. You're getting the uh, hanger carved steak. hanger steak yep. with french fries. What? That's what you get. <laughs> and they both, and they both got it. It makes it easy. You don't have to make a choice. And then you just stare. Did I stare you wrong? Yeah. You, no, you just point? stare at us like your dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at us the whole time. So, so, so Chris, eat you your pickle. What do you have when, you, when, when, I, when they're having a hangar steak? He had a pickle for lunch yesterday. Right. <laughs> at a pickle. At, at uh, Vigilio's. For those of you who haven't had <laughs> Vigilio's homemade pickles, they're w- well worth the dollar twenty-five. They got <laughs> pickle with, or dill and uh, sour. Is it sour? Yeah, yeah. Dill, I got the dill. Um, what did I get at? Uh, what did I get to eat? That? I, I know I got Brussels sprouts. A kernel of something. No. This I, might I, be I, the I, first weekend you didn't go to Yella since they have opened. No, and we were going to go. We, we were gonna because I wanted to because his wife said she was in the mood for some steak. We got to do a shout out to Yellow. They yeah, gave they wrote us a nice yeah. note back the other day. Yeah. Oh, how nice. nice. Personal, yeah. personal touches wow. every time we go. Nice. Yeah. That's so Love nice. Yeah, we do have thing. a question from um, Linda wondering what we think about putting a bathroom near the drawbridge. <laughs> <laughs> I just go in the water, Linda. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think it's a terrible idea. Like a so, so speaking of this, this is a topic that Chris and I, yeah. we, we, we absolutely is a topic. Uh, and it's one of the t- high ones on the show notes, so it couldn't have come at a better time. Good. Good there are, there is a, we have come to realize that there is a spectator sport <laughs> revolving around. So uh-huh. I've always, all my life, I've driven over the Cut Bridge to go to my grandmother, Captain Joe, and my grandmother Felicia lived on, uh, in on Tolman Ave, which is near the, near uh, Cressy's it's Beach. It's near the cupboard. Right? The cupboard, yeah, right behind the cupboard. Yeah. So we would, you know, from East Gloss, we would drive over the Cut Bridge all the time, and we'd always see the people on the sides of the Cut Bridge, and they're always waving to the boats. And over the years, it's just like every single weekend, there's a huge crowd there, right? And oh. I've now that I own a boat, and I'm on Chris's boat, and we go through the Cut Bridge. I understand the psyche of these people. Yeah. The psyche of these are actually sick, twisted individuals. Yeah. <laughs> because going through the, the spectators ca- or the boat. <laughs> so so you go through there and there's serious currents and, and stuff like that. I truly believe that they're oh. there for the carnage. Well, yeah. they want to see somebody yeah. right. for the I boat. swear to God, it's they're why you there go to a hockey for the game. carnage. Yeah. 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 Has, yeah. has anybody actually wrecked in there? Oh, oh yeah, I, I, Fiesta. I, oh yeah. Well, the um, the boat tried to get it underneath. He thought he had enough oh, clearance, oh. and he tried to get underneath, and his radar uh, system oh. ripped off wow. uh, his bimini. Did it do anything to the? Um, no, to not the to the bridge. Because yeah. that would be. Really um, I don't think you can hurt that bridge. Because during Fiesta, <laughs> if that bridge went were out, oh my god. I am guessing that there are far more. There's far more damage done by, you know, inexperienced boaters and and, and uh, I guess and uh, than we are that we are accustomed to. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you know, of the currents. Right the currents. There. I mean, and yeah. and so there's a there's a there is a uh, Instagram account called the <laughs> the qualified yeah. captain. I have yeah. a, a link to it in the show notes, <laughs> yeah. and all it is is uh, one after another of user submitted videos of. Of boater mistakes. Yeah. Oh wow! I think he's yeah. coming on in. Yeah. He could be a chamber yeah. person. Yeah. The chamber person. Yeah, I, I, I think that um, that the boat that lost its radar, I think, was on the qualified oh. captain. So if <laughs> you was, go oh. on the qualified oh, really? captain, you follow on. So somebody Instagram. filmed it. Someone like they're from standing from there waiting right. for it. Yeah. Is that yeah. a local yeah. thing? Well, probably see it. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not yeah. local. Yeah. I don't yeah. know where it's out of, but. Uh, it's footage from, oh, from all over. over. Yeah. 
Uh, but I told Joe yesterday when we were talking about this, like if you go to folders or these travel guides, and it's like things to do. I guarantee one of the things to do is head over to the cut bridge really? and, and watch, watch the these boats. inexperienced boaters <laughs> trying to get through. Trying to navigate through. Yeah, through yeah trying to navigate through wow. because there are times, yesterday being one of them with the wind, so there's a lot of chop, current depending on when the tide's coming in and out, depending on how large your, the boat is in front of you and the swells wow. that they're creating. So do it's you, a challenge. Do you, do you follow the wind? Like Yesterday was a southerly or a southwesterly wind. I don't. I don't Actually, as much yeah. as I should. Today um, is a north, and then easterly, north right. and easterly wind. I, I so I'm starting I'm to of, follow it a little bit more, especially when yeah. I pick up my lobster traps, because Joe yeah. says I forget which wind it is. If it's if it's moving in that particular direction, you don't want to bother going out there because no, no, yeah. it's just oh. going to be way too choppy. <laughs> um, so I, I don't. It, so I don't measure the was, winds, but so yesterday it was choppy in the harbor, and that was, was a, yeah, and that right. was a south, um, yeah, south. Yeah, it was, it was blowing towards the bridge, Blow, blowing yeah. towards the bridge, right? Yeah, yeah right in our smack. The currents going out, and the currents yeah. going out. Yeah. So, so Jim is um, remembering that last week we talked about Joey struggling with that current. Yes, I remember. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kate so, almost yeah. thought she was going to die. He's if you've yeah. had an experience like that. Yeah. Um, not where I thought I was going to die, but. I, you know, got you in there white like, knuckled it, shit, so. I white yeah. knuckled uh, it. Do bigger yeah. boats have an easier time of it? Do the bigger, heavier, like... I think so. Yeah. I would yeah. think the weight yeah. would make yeah. a yeah. difference, yeah. for which, sure. Yeah. Which makes it difficult for the smaller boat, okay. like myself or Joe, especially when you have to follow it. Okay. But I remember our buddy Ralph, um, you know, giving me a couple tips when I first bought a boat on things to do um, when you do go through there. If the boat is bigger in front of you, Give it some space. Lays let let the between, swells yeah. calm yeah. down a bit. And he said, "Speed's your best option going through there. You know, don't don't just you know put it in it oh. forward. You have got to adjust the speeds in order to get through to that get through the without banging the sides." Somebody named Charlene is saying hello. I don't oh, Charlene! Charlene. <laughs> Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Hey, Shasha. Charlene's up early. She's got an open open house today on uh, high popples. Oh, who by me? Angles yeah. and Volkers? Ang- Angles and Volkers. Oh, that's uh, Drew, uh, probably Drew Hale's uh, project. It is. It is, yeah. yeah. They're that. really nice. Realize. They are very nice. They're cool. Yeah. And, that, and uh, I think they have, might have, I, th- I don't want to say for sure, they may have views from the top floor over there. We uh, we were there yesterday because yeah. uh, we brought these guys over just to say hi to Charlene. And we walked in and we were like blown yeah, away by just property. how yeah. how nice it yeah. was. Um, I, I forgot to look out the back window to see... But great, actually, great no, we did look out the back window. I think in the fall when the leaves are off, right. you might yes, have yes. a small great mm-hmm. neighborhood. That, do I be my neighbor? Hmm. Yeah, oh, I, I, I played. I played. I, I played. Uh, I played with all the kids that lived on high poles when I was a kid. Nice. Eve, yeah. Eve McCants. Uh, yes. Good That's, morning, everyone. Wow. Nice to see Mr. McCants joining the Gloucester. Oh, she, oh she's oh. awake. Good. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 you know she can hear that, right? Yeah, I know, but it's okay. nine thirty. She said she'd sleep till nine. Okay. <laughs> So Eve, don't forget to Eve, share Tom, this, guys. Eve, Tom ate a coffee roll. Eve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, she just sold, she just sold oh, the buddy. You are evil, I had a little piece. <laughs> little yeah, piece. piece. With his glove. Because we're going on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paula, Ryan O'Brien, you went to uh, Local Colors. I did. We were on Main Street going to go to dinner. We went to Trio. Had a great dinner. Trio, there. nice. And when we found a spot to park, we were near local colors. Can I interject for one second? Did, did you do you know Trio has their own parking lot that's right yes. next to Trio? Yes. And it was full. Yes. Okay. No. No. Well, no. I I have been in there and struggled to get out of it. <laughs> oh. Okay. So okay. I didn't want to say it again. was her <laughs> driving okay. that had us. Well, Pat, that, there. that Cadillac is hard to maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> It's a 1970s? 1970 Cadillac. <laughs> the burning burning all kinds of fossil fuel. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, we decided to park on Main St- on the street. Yeah. And we were on the left side, and Pat was locking up the car and putting some stuff in. And the light from local colors caught my eye. And you know, but they have some, um, I love stained glass work, and they had some... Um, yeah, you don't like that. 
little um, lights, you know, like night lights kind of thing on a bank of wall and they were all all these different colors and I immediately said to Pat I'm I'm going in here for a second while while you do your thing and I ended up walking out with uh, you know and the artist was there the um, Donna Amaro and she's one of the um, we got talking to her because I was I was like how lucky am I that the artist that I'm purchasing from is here today you know and how great it is and she told us a little history about local colors, and their coming, their anniversary is coming what, up. What, what year? Yeah, they're thirty years. Thirty years. years. In about yeah. a month, they're yeah. going to have an event. Yeah, they're going to have second. They're mm-hmm. going to have music, and all the artists are going to be one of my years. one of my yeah. newly discovered favorite artists um, is one of the artists there. And Chris, in the, I discovered her. Chris uh, bought one of her pieces. Uh, it's yeah. a, of the buoys, and it's kind of a she, very simple. Um, bold, um, kind of. It's like engraved. Uh, I'd love to meet her and, and actually have her explain to me. We should have her on the podcast. Of, yeah, we should. And uh, and then she's carved right had, into wood and the painting and the vib- vibrant but, oh, colors. Beautiful. And then she puts like a what's like five name? coats of lacquer on it, so it just pops. Yeah. What, what's her name? What's Judy Plank. Judy okay. Plank. So Judy okay. Plank. Okay. She's got a lot of great pieces. At local that like that, that are unique. Right, That's and where according I bought to her, mine. most of the artists are going to be there at um, this. Op- oh, they're going to nice. have oh, an event right. for their and anniversary. We'll talk more about it. And Pat's going to do a, a post about it. I wonder if will oh, they let me. What was sell the Amaro lady's name? I'm going to put them in the show. Donna. Donna. Donna Amaro. Amaro. Okay. Will they let me sell my my nude? Photos there? Probably. Um, They're from his honeymoon. Mm-hmm. So much <laughs> they aren't trying but, to scare people away, Chris. No, they these are professionally done. These yeah, are uh, professionally I see, done. I see. He had hair back okay. then. It was wonderful. I, I had, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he did too. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought some beautiful pieces. It was just, it was so pretty, and I, I, I loved it. And I'm glad you got to step in there. It's awesome. It's great. You know what was cool is as I was taking Tom downtown, him and his wife around what one thirty ish. I mean, Gloucester was popping. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was hopping yesterday. Yeah, yeah you'll I see. Mean, the, the, so the, there's a little bit of a lull. So Gloucester's booming in the summer, obviously, right? right. And then there's like a little bit of a lull in um, activity, like an activity, like the first couple of weeks of September. And then when the leaf peeping season starts up, yeah. we get another rush yeah. of people coming yeah. through. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the chamber has done. They have some. Uh, they, 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 a lot of a lot of uh, organizations plan shoulder season season events. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey guys, we're, we're taping, so you don't have to. You could just uh, right now. You're on video. Is that chair any good right there? So, uh, Lindy. I mean, no, 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 one's I'm gonna wear a better no, shirt. No, Susan, Susan yeah, Carbiello's here. Wearing the shirt that I, I oh. you did that on purpose, didn't you? I did. Oh, oh shit! Like that. That. That's that was my that was, she was my I muse. Know. She was my muse. <laughs> you guys are gonna want to. Does it have the? I can show you. Going in the back. You guys move up. No, no, no move I'm gonna move make them. I, I told her I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do it. But that was the. Yeah. I'm gonna take it to the next level. But I'm gonna get I get a proceeds right. I get some royalties. Right? Royalties. Royalties. Can you? We we need you to push in over there because you're not on camera. Oh, okay. Push it over there. Everybody yeah. slide down. Sounds good. We can slide. Or he can slide. Dun, 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 oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. This tastes like a ham and egg and cheese sandwich. <laughs> 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 no, it doesn't smell like that. Is that anybody in the frame? Everybody's in the frame? That's better, yeah. Well, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Okay. Okay. My name is Susan Coviello. I am with Cape Ann Plein This is our fourth year, oh. and our event starts in about a week. Awesome. Yes. I was at the event at Warren Wise College. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. She was so, cooking for us. I know. Her and yeah, I, I just made the connection when you said that. It was good food. You wouldn't get out of the kitchen. I remember you, too. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I'm Mike Storeller. I, I'm also with KPM Plein Air, and uh, like Susan said, this is our fourth oh, year. Um cool. And we're pretty excited uh, that it's uh, shaping up to be a bigger event than we've had in the last couple of years because of some things we've added to it that I we'll talk about. I want to say that's a Jeff Weaver on it. Awesome. No, oh. it's actually last year's winner was uh, Neil Hughes. Oh, that's great. So this is, and he's back by invitation because he was our, our grand prize winner. So you don't have a green jacket for him like the Masters? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea, A green paintbrush. A green paintbrush. 
Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Oh, they, they auto, so is that part? So it's almost like they've set this thing. Are you familiar with Cape and Plein Air? I mean, the uh, Plein Air in general, these these competitions yeah. that they're having all over the country? I'm starting to become more familiar because of yeah. the events. Yeah. I love it. And they so, have but a great no, they set, it's set up almost yeah, like it's, a, it's almost yes. like a sporting yeah. event. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah. what happens is, so they, the people get juried yeah. in. Yeah, you're Right? Yes. And. These events are happening all over the country in these beautiful locations, and the best of the best get invited, really? and there's prize money. Really? Over $22,000. We have $22,000 this year oh, for prizes. Yeah. So there's all kind of... Yep. Huh? It, it is. It is. It's an art competition. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We choose 40 artists, out of, and this year we had 200 applications wow. Wow. from all over the country, all over the world, right? Wow. Yes, we don't choose them. They're chosen by, by, a, juror. by a juror by online. Juror. Yeah, well, we pay the juror. <laughs> but so, yeah. Yeah. that's what I mean by we. <laughs> but, uh, um, and then we have two judges, actually. One who judges them into the competition... And then the second judge awards the twenty thousand wow, dollars at our gala, which this year is at North Shore Arts Association. Yeah. So that's on the October twelfth. Yep. Right. Wow. Right. Yep. And wow. you can also so there's there's there's, uh, there's like multi levels to this whole event. Wow. Like first we had the kickoff thing at Warren's house, Engel and Fulker. Wow. We have to say it right. We Fulker. had to learn how to say it. Fulker. Fulker. All in Fulker. 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 We have folks all over Cape Ann that open up their homes and house an artist for a week or ten days, which we're really grateful for. So Karen and Warren threw a pretty great little yeah. kickoff party yeah. that Joey was at. It was epic. Yeah. <laughs> I was at it too. And yeah. I'm like, geez, I'm getting into this artsy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they throw these type of parties? The best part was when we did the spin the bottle. <laughs> Spin the paintbrush. Spin the paintbrush. <laughs> no, it was it was fantastic. <laughs> um, so, but 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 people can are encouraged. You'll, so, over, when does it start? It starts Sunday. So, a week from today, our forty artists we'll from go. all over the country, and I should say that we have several Cape Ann artists as well that were juried in, including John Caggiano, Ken Knowles, Marty Williams, Paul George, Paul George. Janet Sutherland. Janet Sutherland. So there are local right. artists yeah. as well that are juried in by our juror who sort oh, of does it blind mm-hmm. to the extent that he doesn't recognize people's art. Oh, um, so they would come today. No. Yeah. A really good. Yeah, he's really good at his job. <laughs> I like that one. Now, now he's found a job he wants. He's really, he, he found a job he'd be good at. He can put the artist that way. Exactly. And they come for a week and they paint all week long all over Cape Ann. Uh, four communities, we give them a map. We have... Spe- um, Location specific awards, so they know that they should go paint in Manchester and oh, Essex okay. and Rockport. Um, of course, Working Waterfront is one of our awards. Best watercolor. I mean, there's all sorts of awards that they can compete for. Um, and at the end of the week, we have a big lobster bake at the Gloucester House, and Lenny tells long winded stories, and we love it, and they love it. John Jerome is playing for us this year oh, there for about an hour. hour and a half. Cowboy. That is open to the public. It's $30 a person. If you'd like to come to the, to the lobster bake, nice. please let me know. And then Saturday, of course, is our gala. That's Friday night for the lobster bake? Yes. Yeah, yep. Friday night. And what then, what and then date is that? It's the 11th, 11th. at um, the Gloucester House. So not only are, is this a competition, but people are encouraged to buy the art. You can buy absolutely. the art. Yeah, absolutely. We, we want them to buy You want them to buy art. Yeah. You, you want more people. Right off the easel. Right yeah. off yeah. the easel. If you want yes. it. <laughs> and, um, and so so what's going to be really cool starting next Sunday is around town, you will see people okay. set up. Because yep. plein air is out, basically outdoor painting right. out in the open, yeah. outdoors. Yep. Yep. So you'll see all over town, all over Manchester, Essex, Gloucester, um, Rockport, um, you'll see these people set up. And they... Some of them are, are better with social media than others, mm-hmm. um, and they'll kind of like put out there, "Hey, come check check out what I'm doing." Yep. and it's a good way. To I've been here when they were doing it. I think last year or maybe the year before, and they'll talk to you. Yeah, they'll yeah, answer your mm-hmm. questions. Yeah. It's really so interesting. Yeah, it's their profession. So when you say you're welcome to buy art, that's how they make money. They're right. professional right. artists. Mm-hmm. That's that's their job. 
So not only do they compete for prizes, but they also, you know, really want people to to buy <laughs> well, that, I their was art. I'm wondering, and not during your contest, of course, but other times of the year, if you see artists out there, is it considered bad manners to walk up and say, oh, not at all. No, no, I, wasn't wasn't sure. okay, I wasn't sure how that was. No. People expect it. They always oh, okay. expect, expect it. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. so Just don't spill coffee. Don't yeah. spill yeah. coffee. Yeah. 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 Just, Just like with yes. anything, some are more social than <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sure. right. So <laughs> when we had the gallery on, on Rocky Neck, yeah. Um, and EJ, who did a fantastic job managing that gallery, and we had the we had the guest we had the wall the guest wall right. where people could come in for a week or two, they, you know they, sh they would help her pay part of the, the you know right. the rental the for rent, the space, right. and we would have a new opening every two, a couple two weeks. Of weeks. Right. But what I came to realize talking to all these artists that and and there's there's no correlation at all. But some of the most talented artists are the most reluctant and and will not use social media mm -hmm. or or any or the, or are the worst marketers of their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you have, honestly, you have some really marginal <laughs> artists, and they're out there blasting <laughs> their That's stuff true. day in and day out. Like I used to get press releases from this one woman, and her stuff was like honestly like garbage. And I and like but I would post. <laughs> But I would post the things, <laughs> and like after a while, I was just like, oh, fuck, I can't. It like, just yeah. killed me to post. But I'd do it anyway because yeah. you're trying to be nice and not hurt right. anyone's feelings. Right. Yeah. She was terrible. Oh. Are, the pa are the paintings, uh, do they have a price on them? Or is it yes. like a the artist process? sets their own price. They set their own price. There's no auction or anything. They set okay. their own price. So, so explain some of the parameters. So it's like a week long that they'll be painting outside, right? They have just a week to do it, or yes. how many days? Yes, they, they have a week. They have to like? submit at least a minimum of five paintings. Five paintings will be oh, hung. Five. And well, they can have up parameter. to three yeah, um, set aside in case they're selling, when they sell during the, the evening, mm -hmm. we can also sell the other three that they did not enter into the competition. So five are entered into the competition, and another three are there. Five in Four. seven and days? And yeah, five you, at least. Shit, that's Some aggressive. of them do yeah. way more than that. And then yeah. you also have... Seven days? They got to paint them in seven days. There's yeah. an opportunity wow. for the public to yeah. come see it, right? To wow, just come through. Pressure. So <laughs> the that, gala that's is... done it before. Yeah, well, yes. Okay. The next day, um, the gallery, North Shore Art Association, will be open from 10 to 5, and the paintings will be uh, available to see and okay. to purchase okay. without... Coming to the gala, yeah, right. a lot of them will be sold on on Saturday right. oh, night. Yeah. So yeah. you know you have to realize they that they want to encourage people to go to the gala. Yeah. Right, but they have to right. show all five from right. the for that gala and to the judge who picks the winners. Okay. that basically that um, based Saturday on the five. Okay, afternoon, right? They he judges Saturday. The yeah. winners yeah. announced Saturday night. night. Right. Your your um, the program um, has on each page. Well, you have some sponsors, but there's also there's an acknowledgement and thanks, but you have a page for each of the artists. Correct. Yep. And yep. like literally, it, and it tells a little story about each of the artists, and you can see what type, what their style is, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, obviously they're gonna submit something that they feel represents them. There's some. There's some it, it, so you'll see these. Where can people get these around town? You can actually get them everywhere. 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 Uh, we've we've, uh, we, well we've got over three thousand of them, yes. and in eighty-five <laughs> locations, ninety-five locations around Cape Ann, they've been deposited. You know, like the Cape Ann Museum. You know, not your arts. Uh, Liquor Locker. Uh, yeah. Liquor Locker. Liquor Locker. Liquor Locker. Yeah. Restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, visitor. The, 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 the Welcome Center. center. Yep. Yeah. So, um, if you see this. Uh, it, believe me, uh, they could charge for this. It, it's so awesome. Uh, but they're giving them away for free. Right. So pick that up, right? Yes. And, and, and yes. I would like to mention, you know, we mentioned our sponsors. Uh, uh, this whole event would not happen without the sponsors. We have to raise $20,000 in prize money, which is not easy. Not easy. I mean, we de get some revenue from the gala and art sales, but it's a big operation financially. And all the people who buy ads in our book support us making that book. And, and make it more successful. I mean, right. one of the other things, we do this in October because we've, it's the shoulder season. I heard you mention that early. Yeah. And we picked this month because we're drive, trying to drive our cultural business into KPN. And we're doing, in fact, a lot of advertising outside of KPN. We, we, are, hmm. um, we sent, uh, oh my God, 8,000, 10,000 rack carts, or little rack carts, oh. all around Boston. Oh, wow. And hmm. hotels yeah. and everything, trying to drag people up here. 
to stay in our hotels, go to the restaurants during our right. time. This is the first year you've done that? Uh, the first year we sent this much paraphernalia out. Wow. Well, you know, the, both the books and the... Uh, yeah. We just didn't have the resources in our organization right. to pull it off. So. We want the artists yeah. to be able to sell their art and to get to know them. So yeah. the best yeah. way to do that and the best way to support the creative economy and the whole local economy and it's sh on the shoulder season mm -hmm. is to bring as many people yeah. as we can up for the week. One thing that we're doing that's new this year is Cape Ann, Ple Cape Ann Week 2019. So a lot, there are many businesses that are offering specials, um, special little events, uh, drink specials, hotels are offering a little bit of a discount. Drink specials. You don't so, <laughs> <laughs> the meerkats are. <laughs> just your all the meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one of the best, one of the one of the really wonderful things is Art, art Haven. You know where the kids learn yeah. about art. They're doing a wet paint event on Saturday the 12th during the day on Main Street from 10 to 12. We're okay. encouraging our artists to go and join them to paint on Main Street for a couple of hours. So that's one of the things that's being offered. And there's a, um, there's a QR code on the poster and you can find all this information about all of the offerings for Cape Ann Plein Air Week um, on our website, capeannplenair.com. Well, the other <laughs> exciting thing is uh, Captain Joe's here. You can come and get your body painted. Joe's oh. Joe will be doing some body painting. Au <laughs> <laughs> <Or> natural. Au <laughs> <laughs> natural. He can do this as a tattoo, well, actually. He would need a shirt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm helping him that day yeah. too. Yeah. He's the, Chris is the assistant. It's going to be wonderful. I'm the artistic director. I got a little kiddie pool. <laughs> so you sit in the middle of the kiddie pool. Oh, Local the, hardware store donates the paint. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do. Paint. We're going to do a couple. We're going to do a couple uh, in the uh, well, Pollock style. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just splashing on you. Yeah. Are you all right? What's going on? I gotta go. Where do you got to go? Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it something we said? Is it the body paint experience? <laughs> you just got it. Right. No, it was the fact that he planned it out with the pool and everything ahead right. of time. Right. It made her nervous. <laughs> yeah. She realized it was I not just a sample. Yeah. You got one of these? All right. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, Thank you guys for coming. Thank so you so much. I have to run out. I love your dress. It was very nice. Na 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 na. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> you look fabulous today. The whole outfit. It's a very oh, awkward. You're on film, Kim. Kim, Kim, say hello. <laughs> Bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. She hates to be on camera. Uh, CapeAndPlanAir.com is the website. Uh, plan is P L E I E I N and then A, and the link will be in the show notes. Just for people, I learned this a couple weeks ago. What does that mean again? Mike, plein air, outside. outside. In French, it means you're painting outside. Yes. In, in Italian, they all sometimes call it alla prima, all at oh. once. And that's oh. why these painters get five to seven, maybe some of them do ten paintings that week. Because wow. really? they are fast and they do it all at, all at once outside. Wow. Yeah. All they, outside. They can't take a picture of the scene and go yeah. home to their studio and finish it at no, night. It has to be oh, done they, on the spot. No. Oh, I was gonna, be they can't do that. No, no. no. Interesting. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So cool. it's really an amazing process to watch. I mean, we saw them yeah, right create on the spot. paintings in two or three hours at Warren's house. At yeah. Warren's, yeah. yeah. And they were beautiful. And they're, yeah. Amazing. It's like, wow. Yeah, yeah you couldn't believe it. Ken Knowles and... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you guys for coming. You can stick around. We're gonna have, we have some other topics. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? No, just I hope that everyone knows that the gala will sell out. So buy your tickets. They're online. Oh, okay. Uh, the quick draw is on Monday. The quick draw is for up to 120. Anybody can enter. For twenty-five dollars, can come and paint. It's going to be in Essex this year, the Ship Building Museum. One hundred and twenty artists. This is your chance. Yeah. This is it. This is where this we'll do the naked body paint, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have a live. We'll, oh, shh, we can't say this. Don't shh. don't say this on the podcast. <laughs> we'll go in under the radar, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. We'll get the kiddie pool. We'll yes. have a naked model, yes. and, and we'll throw paint too. at her, yeah. and we'll be. Like, it'll be like an avant-garde yeah. kind of thing that yeah. no one else. And we'll blow everybody else we'll out take of the this water. I've seen that yeah. storm. I can see the submission to the judges. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I have to put the. We have to put it on wheels, and we'll wheel. We'll wheel the girl in. Yeah, well, wheel it could be a guy too. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I don't, I'm not dealing with a guy's junk. <laughs> we've already established. This has the, degraded very quickly. Uh, really we've we've established. Let me argue this. We've established that men's parts are gross. <laughs> yeah, men's parts are gross. Good. Let's. I mean, let's be honest. Get the spackle. 
this hey, putty spackle. Oh, I got a spray paint. Here's something. Gas mask. Oh my god. Check please. <laughs> Now I think I need to stick around just in case you guys clarify later. I need a referee. Yeah. Uh, Hammond Castle's last day of the regular season is today, Sunday, t- September 29th. The but there are a number of special <laughs> events coming up for October, including Halls of Darkness, Fears and Phobias, Ooh. starting October 11th, which is not suitable for children. This is the other topic? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've been, you, you're starting to get involved at the uh, at the at Heaven Castle. They've been nice. They've been nice enough to include me in their in some of their information sharing. Nice. Yeah. Do you have any, do you get any juice out of that? Do they, <laughs> they, do they bring you they behind like the you scenes or anything? Can you sleep there? Do you get VIP status. <laughs> <laughs> they bring you to the dungeon. Well, tomorrow night there's an event there for the media, and Are my you going? GMG connections got me. Wow. Uh, Credentials. Credentials pay. It's Jeez. a it's big a, dividends. Uh, they're doing a Santa, value added. They're doing a Santa Claus thing, um, gathering up things for kids at Christmas time. Oh. Are they having a spread? Santa Claus. Uh, I don't know. That really wasn't part of my decision making process. I was just psyched to be invited. If Paul if Paul Morrison was the one person going, <laughs> you know that's all he would care about is if they had free food. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, it is over we'll on call, the other side of the bridge. So. We'll call it spade a spade. That's the way, that's his <laughs> modus operandi. Yeah. When we have an event, when we have a Good Morning Gloucester event, he if he knows that there's, if we, if we, he does own it, if, if we're having a barbecue or if we're having mm-hmm. food, mm-hmm. He, he he sniffs it out like nothing else. <laughs> Anything else where there's like some type of work involved, if, if fuck, like a li- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fucking vanishes. But he, wow. he he does own it. I, he I, does. I'll give him that. He doesn't yeah. pretend he's not. You know, we talked about so you know art, the, uh, as as people that deal with artists and, and art openings. You can, I I know that you can relate to this because when we had our gallery, we would have these openings, and. You know, and because we had to rotate the rotating wall every two weeks, we had new artists, all new people coming into the gallery, and that artist would generally put out a spread, and we would all bring in something or other. So it became known that every couple of weeks we were going to have an opening, and there was going to be some grub there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had these same shameless fucking people, <laughs> <laughs> and the way the gallery, we would all, we we we, we, we wise up. We put the food all the way to the back, back of the gallery. Right, it was right, a long, right. skinny gallery, so they had, and it, they were always packed. We had a, we it was it was standing room only at, at at our openings, and the people, so these same fucking people, and then, and they would whine they would, they'd keep their head down because they didn't want to have to engage the artist or anyone else, yeah. right. and they just work their way back. Then they get the plate, right? You the paper plate, right? And, you know, they'd fill it up so that the sides were, like, caving over and, it, and it, the stuff was dripping all over the place. No shame at all. And then they and then they would get the plate and they would kind of turn and they'd go, and they'd walk right out and go outside the gallery wow, and eat the wow, food. Wow. Didn't even acknowledge the, the, wow. the artist. Yeah. Or the, whenever there was wine, the wow. wine would go. Yeah. yeah. I can, I, Do you have any? I can relate yeah. to that. Yeah. yeah, I bet you can. I bet you can. Right? Definitely. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. But so when I so anyone that that is close to me knows when I go to like any you know because because of Good Morning Class we get invited to a lot of pub open public events and they have you come in because they want you to cover it and stuff. I rarely eat anything because I'm so hyper aware. Right. Of oh. these other people, yeah, that I'm what so yeah. hyper aware that people are gonna, like, you know, and they're always the first people up mm-hmm. to the to the when the food gets announced that it's ready or something. They're there, they're like edging people out, driving crazy. <laughs> no shame, no, I mean, no shame at all. I love that you're calling these people out. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> he hasn't started naming any names yet. Yeah, no. 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 As soon as we stop that's taping, I'm going to tell you, and I bet you are. that you'll know some of the people. Yeah. Yeah. They I know bet who you. they are. I don't know yeah. if they do. I th- oh, they do. Do you think? Yes. They know who they are. Yes. No shame. No shame. <laughs> it's a sport. Did, did, it's you just get, did you get a notification just now that the battery's dying? Yes, I did. It's the same people that go to Costco and get the free samples and call that a lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to do that. You get a little yogurt, get some cheese. No, they're TWA though. Yeah, I saw those. Are those like, are those like the airlines? Yeah, yeah. They look like stands. No, they're just some Italian. 
Right. I went to the TWA Hotel in down in New York when I opened up, and I bought their shoes because I want to make sure that we're all out there. So, uh, so, so we're just going to continue the podcast, audio podcast, but our battery is running low on the video Facebook feed. So, if you want to listen to the rest of the podcast, you can you know tune into the, uh, Good Morning Gloucester and see the rest. Uh, oh, tune in. It'll we're going to sign out. We're going to sign out right. live for you right now. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, hope, everybody. Hope you Bye. See you, Joe. Keep you in plenty of. How much longer am I here? Is it like four or five more hours? No. No, no. no. (laughs) We're leaving in five. All right. That is that is up. Joe, how many more topics? Only a couple. Only a couple. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Such a nice. All right, here we go. It's a half an hour till his next name. Doesn't Pat look good in that seat? (laughs) Look at that. You can't see it now. Yeah. Well, I've moved for those because nobody can see what's happening. That's right. Oh, I, you know something? I feel bad because Kim gave me her topics. She did. And, and, oh, and said, said that she was going to be leaving earlier. And you didn't get to them? And I fucking didn't get to them. <laughs> oh, it's just about the birds and the butterflies. I think that's why she left. Yeah, no, she was <laughs> mad, you think? No. Yeah. She did stay she longer. She went stomping out. She, she said she had to leave at she could, You know, honestly, if I do something like that, and you know, well, I you, can, forgot you, can, you can go like this to me, Joe. Can we talk? I have to leave in a few minutes. Can we talk about my right. topic? Because I have true. to leave. I, ha- I don't have. A, you know, I wouldn't have a problem. With right. That. And she, she would do that. I, I well, I don't know if she would. She's so po- super, super polite. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. is. So, so much better than her. Most of the. Most of them. But I think I can. I, I, I was just lumped in. I think I can. You gotta walk out and be judged. Well, well. In fairness, we did. We t- we we said for them to come at, at nine forty five so we could get her things in. Right. They oh came yeah. In. Oh. They yeah. Came, came in. Really? Interrupted everything. She, you interrupted oh, everything. Oh, oh now. Yeah. See, that's no. Don't it doesn't be take any time. Throwing them under the bus. Did we kill the monarchs? Is that what we did? Piping plovers. You're responsible. Piping plovers. You're responsible. Oh my god. And the dog's running loose on the beach right now, isn't he? I still pick up my dog when I leave. Oh here. man! You You're responsible <laughs> for all the schools, the um, elementary schools in Gloucester, the deterioration oh, right. of the, right. the schools oh. in Gloucester, any potholes <laughs> that there are, the and, and the triple E. I'm putting on you. Yeah. Yeah. And the rotaries. Yeah. And the rotaries. What's the, the, the rotary? What's the matter with the rotary? Oh, well, don't get started. Started. No one's put, no one's putting their blinkers on. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon Bear, usually yeah. blinkers. Oh, Gordon Bear. Anybody listen to what that yeah. brain has to say? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, I don't even know Gordon. I'm new to the town, and I could tell He's just that a... Gordon and I wouldn't be sitting side by side at a bar having a nice conversation. I'm pretty sure that's the case. He's I mean, it's just... <laughs> You mean the guy that lives in a huge house on Eastern Point yeah. that, that shoots that craps on anybody that has money in town yeah, or builds a Trump's bigger house? Started. He's he's big on that. The, that guy, the, the save the world people, but yet they fly first class, have their own jets. They call own those six they boats. call those limousine liberals. That's what they call them. <laughs> anyway, we, gotta, we don't talk. Yeah, we don't want to go down there. Right, right, Gordon, uh, Gordon, I'm putting on my blinker now just for you. Yeah. I think when I we're turning that off this subject. Just leave it on the whole time. <laughs> just use your hazards. No, just use your hazards. So people don't know if I'm going left or right. Just use the hazards. Just use the hazards. Right. 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 So, Chris, being said, I do think there's an opportunity for Gloucester to, like most rotaries are doing now, is put lines in the road. So, if you're the far right, no? I think it's just fine. I think people figure it out. And you, and, yeah, and no, it just I'm takes time that, to get used but, to it. But when people you're not who aren't from the area, who've never seen a rotary before, because there are people out there who've never seen rotaries. I no. think the lines are yeah, going to screw people, people, people up. Nobody's going to care about the lines. No one's going to care about it. People will be in the middle. I didn't even know you called those traffic circles rotaries when I first started coming. Like, oh, there's a rotary club up ahead. Roundabouts. Roundabouts. And, roundabouts. and then all of a sudden you're on top of a traffic circle. Big Ben, the problem. Yeah, yeah, two with Chevy Chase that is just keep riding around. <laughs> Big Ben, follow. Oh, look, Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> he's spitzing. He can't get over. He can't get loud. I gotta go loud. Did he have? Did he have his blinker on? I think he might have not had his blinker on. That was his whole problem. Could have solved all the world's problems with the blinker. Uh, uh, Chris, I'm sure he doesn't listen to So Chris just got. Uh, just Chris, we we talked about your Boston Whaler last yeah. week. Yeah, you just got a Boston Whaler, but you're spreading more money in the economy because you had mile, uh, Cape Air Marina. You had yeah, a good experience well, with them. But first I went to Gloucester Marina to yep. look at the existing engine. 
Uh, Rob over there, his, he owns uh, Gloucester Marina. His name is escaping me, but I left my boat there for three or four days. He had a mechanic look at it, and you know, cost me a hundred dollars for him to say engine shit. But he gave you, you know, an honest Rob opinion. Gave me an honest opinion. Was a great guy. Um, and, and the reason you brought it there was because the engine that was on there was a was Mercury. A Mercury. And they're Mercury dealers. In Mercury. Yeah. Um, but he does winterizing. He does all that stuff. Great facility down there if, um, if, if you need any boating needs. So he is the one who actually recommended that I just buy a brand new engine. Oh. Uh, which I didn't necessarily want to do. But when you think about it, you know, you buy a used engine that's five years old for 3000 bucks, And you don't know... You know what's, what's inside. Yeah. Okay. Um, no matter how many people look at it. So right. he said, go over to Cape Ann Marina and talk to those guys. I'd recommend a Suzuki, thirty horsepower Suzuki. So I went and spoke to Jerry at Cape Ann. He's uh, responsible for sales, engine sales up there. Great oh, guy. I didn't know they did that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Great. Great. Great guy. Um, no BS. Laid it on the line. How did you deal with someone that doesn't do any BS? <laughs> well, I gave him BS back. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't All receiving right. BS back from him. But um, I ended up buying a brand new Suzuki, which is now being installed um, on the boat. And, you know, they the good news is they looked at the whaler that, that Joe found for me. And for what we... What I paid for it, they uh, it was a stale. Oh, yeah, good, the boat good. is a great. So you have a class. So there's a class. There's a couple of classic designs, right? There's probably like probably ten or whatever. I'm, I'm just throwing out a number, like ten kind of classic boat designs: center mm-hmm. console, like Mako, Boston Whaler, Eastern, um, Carolina Skiff, whatever. There's like so many, like that that boat. You could look at it 20 years from now, and it'll that that. The, and you'll know that it, li- that the that lines line in that, that boat, the the build of that boat, it's fiberglass. As long as you reasonably take care of it, you still have a great investment. Twenty years from now, right? If you buy it, buy it right. Now he has a brand new engine. The, the part that messes up the engine, he has, he, and he has a warranty. Oh, so yeah, six warranty. year warranty. Six year warranty. And do they that's install great. it down there too? They install it down there. Okay. Yep, and they install it, and um, they'll service it. Um, oh yeah, and, so it's like having know, a brand new boat. Really. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, my daughter is going to hopefully be driving it, and uh, I just good wanted to make sure. Oh that yeah, you want to make whaler thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful. perfect little boat for, yeah, for it's a little. Boat. It's a so his, his boat's on a mooring, so he'll be able to use the the whaler to get back and forth to the to the, the yeah. Great that was bit. the driver behind yeah. getting it, uh, but I, as I told Joe, I said. I, I think I'm going to find myself next year probably using a whaler more than a 20 foot grade because <laughs> if it's just my wife and I or just another couple, we, we just go on to the beach. We didn't do so what we did. said we were going to do at the beginning of the summer. Two things we didn't do that we said we were going to do on the boat. We said we were going to take the boat and we we're going to do a uh, uh, get tents, sleep on tents on yeah. cr- on cranes. Yeah, and we didn't or backside of winga, backside of winga or cranes. And the other thing we didn't do was take the boat to the market and have dinner at market. Yeah. Well, we tried. Yeah. We tried, but we they, tried. they noticed they were, it was me, and they said, we don't yeah. have a seat. They're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're like, <laughs> they shut the, really? Joe's walking up the ramp, for, and they for, for good reasons, doors. because I teased, I teased, um, I teased uh, short and main. I call it short and pretentious. Because because of the the, the bartenders there, the, because the bartenders, but I, but the food is great there, and I acknowledge that it's a great restaurant. But I can't help because of the bartenders there that are so fucking pretentious, the way they shake their martinis <laughs> and the way they, they have an air about them. Stop saying it. He might maybe, we that. That. <laughs> maybe we'd get a table. They might forget. Maybe we would get a table one of these. Yeah. Nights. So no. which, which restaurant it, do do they let you into? Is there like one in town that you can get into? I get I get juice just Every just about everywhere, but but but, but short and potential. I mean, short and man. <laughs> no, I I kid I kid. They're a great restaurant. It's a fantastic mm-hmm. restaurant. I, I honestly believe you cannot go wrong. You go there, you sit at the bar, That's correct. That's you right. get the dollar oysters. Yeah. They have great they have great beers on tap. Service is great. Service is great. The yeah. food yeah. is great. The yeah. pizza is great. It's all yeah, at this we, point. We it's love just everybody. All about. The, 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 the laughs. Boy, the we, we even love you. We're, no. 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 I, I, no. no. <laughs> you won't go that far. Um, <laughs> Russell Orchards. Chad, look at what time it is. Russell Orchards. We're going to go. 
Oh, that was a tough oh, it's all got the yeah. That was Kim's. There's it's apples. All about the apples. There's yeah. apples. Yeah. She wanted to tell apples, everybody there's apple apples. Apple cider, crisp, donuts. apple cider, apple donuts. Yes. Your apple daughter butter. was all over the apple, apple cider donuts. Yeah. Apple, she said, she apple said it butter. Would be a good topic. Apple yeah. wine. Do they have apple wine there? I think so. I, you know what they have that I love in the fall is hot cider. You can go and just get a oh, glass hot of hot cider. cider while do you you're bring nips? Do you bring nips of rum so you can put it in with the with the cider? Because I wouldn't put it past, I would not put it past the Ryan girls to bring nips to to we can to, the fifth to here, Ryan. Right? We can plead the fifth here. You can I will say that if we were to do it, we would take the nips bottles with us. We would yeah, you wouldn't throw them out the window. The right. Okay. Right. Okay. No, All that right. happens in, in Essex. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. On your way to pass through Essex, just you know. Joe, did you forget to put the apple juice on the ribs? No, the ribs are. Oh, the ribs are gonna be close right now. Yeah. No, we, I got ribs on the. Uh, What's my temperature? Yes, you totally forgot about it. No, I'm perfect. Well, it's dialed in a two... Oh, we're going to take <laughs> Wow. Yes. All right. So for those of you on the podcast, Joey just showed the camera that he turned off himself the temp on his ribs. My remote thermometer. I just go, went to hold up my He's thermometer. He's all excited. Like, no, because I'm so excited because I, I know my smoker. I, I have the, the settings dialed in. I'm at 260. Yeah. And this has been, I have this using the snake method. Yeah. It's like it's like people go kill themselves to buy these pellet smokers so they can yeah. dial in the temperature. That's what happens to your pen. Yeah. Huh? That's what I want. That's what happens to where your pens go. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> And he yells at everybody else. But I think like, I think Kim wanted to pen. just remind everybody that Russell Orchards is a nice take in the fall as well as. Great as, take. As well as any other time of year when they're Great open. Great take. Uh, next Saturday, October 5th in Essex, Burial Ground Tours, oh, Tobacco yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris, 36 Main Street. Noon and every hour on the hour until 4 p.m. Yeah. Pat plans to Who's attend. with me? What is it? Tell me what is it. What Tour of the cemetery? You're, you're going to come, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No sugar code. Why do you want to go see it? Why do you want to walk to a cemetery? I don't know. I just think it's history. cool. It's oh, history. is there it's someone very, that's going to give you like this? Guy, they, like a at guy this, tour. This, this, yeah. Where this person's buried, mm -hmm. they axe murdered X yes. amount of people. Yeah, yes. yeah. They were part yeah. of the witch's <laughs> trial. Yeah, who's with me? I'm not going. At <laughs> night? Is it it's at in my night? Okay. <laughs> at night by candlelight? Yeah. No, during the middle of the afternoon. I'm not going to the afternoon. There's an endorsement. Like noon to four. Aren't you the, like the, the chamber representative <laughs> of, for Essex? And she's like, I'm out. <laughs> Just don't say my name. We, we got we to gotta start visiting more cemeteries. Yeah. They're the, they're the lost and the forgotten. So where yeah, where I, uh, oh so thirty six Main Street in uh, Essex mm -hmm. that's where people go to gather. Cemeteries are her pension funders. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're my what? Pension funders. You <laughs> <laughs> so I can't bring my dog through. Uh, no, no no no. And old newspapers are my monarchs. That's right. But yeah. <laughs> old newspapers too. No, you get some interesting stuff. I, yeah, just, I do. No, that's good stuff. Yeah. No, there's an audience for it. There, there definitely is. There's an audience. That's why we have for everything. That's why we yeah. have the Even this show, apparently. Even, yeah. show. <laughs> Even body that. paint. Even, Even body, body painting. <laughs> right. We're, 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 bringing it. It. we're bringing body painting to a whole new level. We're doing it. Body painting in the air. Come I mean, at outside. the gala. No, when is the thing where we're going to have the the, the, the the bum painters can show up and pay the $25 oh, fee? On Monday. Monday. Okay, so, Monday. Yeah. Yeah. The bum <laughs> so, 20, the tw so Monday, Look, Chris the and I are going to show up and we're going to have... The beret. We're going to wear the beret. And the palette, you know, right? the painting. The palette. The ascot. We're going to wear the ascot. The smock. The, 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 the long yeah, the cigarette. With the, with yeah. the, pool, the thing. The, yeah. the smock. The smock. Yeah. And nothing else And you should on. do it in yeah. jock straps. <laughs> jock straps. <laughs> and we'll do it in GMG. GMG jock straps. <laughs> and we're going to have, who's going to be the naked lady? Oh, we're going to, we're going to have to, if, there are any interest? We're looking for a naked model yeah, that wants to be part of our art exhibit. Yeah, you can be you, careful you, what you submit wish it for. to Chris McCarthy. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got an address? <laughs> Give us phone number. Stan, I'll be away Stanwood Point. I'll be away this entire week. I call Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. No, me. No. So anyway. no, we can probably find some. We'll go door to door and see if we can find anybody. Yeah. yeah, that won't get you in any trouble. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> not at all. The Me Too movement. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oprah, what? Oprah. Yeah, Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. That's no, our safe we're not word. Gonna, we're not going to paint Oprah. No, that's our safe word on the homie cast. 
if whenever we were going off the rails, yeah. one of the guys, yeah. one of the guys would would say would yell out Oprah, Oprah, like ran it back before the wives listen to this and get, oh. chew oh. us up. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the Oprah. wives are gonna listen to this. Say, That's why did they work. select us to be painted? I, I just know my wife and your wife probably wouldn't go for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing. Call me crazy. Yeah. Anyway, it's Gloucester. Ca- we're just on, we're, oh, we're gonna make it it's exactly one hour. Oh. I mean. Uh, it is uh, September what's the 29th, date today? 29th, 29th today, wow. one one month exactly from my birthday. birthday, so if everybody's thinking about gifts, yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, it was great to have you guys, thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having us, it was so much fun, more fun yeah, than I ever time. thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>